Hey, uh, yeah, this is just going to be a quick little um, update, kind of. Um, as you can see, I fixed the uh, 16, or the M4 uh, texture a bit, so it looks a little bit more normal. Um, the subject of this video is actually the normal <coughs> map. It's actually the, uh, you can see I changed the texture here in the records vault room. Um, this one and that one here are kind of stretched out, but this one looks about right. Um, not as good as this one. I think this one looks the best right now. Um, basically, I just changed it to a parallel parallax diffuse map, which makes it look a bit more realistic. Um, it takes a normal map plus a height map, and just kind of uh, creates almost like a 3D effect to the texture. So as you can see, it's very, it's a, it's a lot better looking than um, the brick was. And I'm probably gonna, if I scale this down a bit, it'll look better. Same thing, I'll do the same with the carpet probably. Um, I think I'm gonna do that with all my textures actually. It's a little bit more uh, painstaking, a little more difficult, but it actually, uh, even in the, and especially in the dark, when it's um, not really, uh, when things aren't bright, like full bright, it starts to look a lot better. Um, like even this is actually starting to look a little bit more not as bad. Like you can kind of see how the ridges seem like they're kind of coming out of the wall in a way. Um, whereas here it's about right. I also need to fix how my gun will just go through the wall because that's kind of annoying. Um, <laughs> aside from that though, um, yeah so you know things happening still. <laughs> But uh just want to take that quick break to uh, kind of demonstrate the differences between different types of um, mapping and how a little extra effort will go a long way. So look at that go. Look at that. Look at that bump mappiness. Okay. All right. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I have another video tomorrow probably. Bye.